Ah, what do you do if you get stuck on the bottom when you're fishing nymphs from streamers? So the first thing to try is to make a quick roll cast to get out beyond that fly to see if you can move the hook in the opposite direction. So I'm snagged here and I'm gonna bring back, get some extra line and I'm just gonna flip it and then lift it. And I'm going to flip it and then lift it. Flip it and then lift it. Now, not gonna come out that way. Often it will. Oh, I got it out that time. So the other thing you can do is you can try to get a little bit different angle on the snag by moving upstream or downstream, usually upstream. Oh, and it came loose. If that had not come loose, you got two options. One is you wait out and get it. And the other one is if it's too deep to wait or you don't want to disturb the water, then you break it off. So the worst thing you can do is really yank on that fly with the rod. One thing is going to do, it's going to drive that hook deeper into the snag. The other thing it's going to do is you could break your rod. You know, if you're bouncing, if you're bouncing your rod around like this and jerking on it and a loop of line happens to go around the tip of the rod, you could snap your tip. So that's not something you want to do. The best thing to do is to point the rod straight at the snag and just either pull or walk back until things break. And I would advise you, especially if you're using split shot, to make sure you have your sunglasses on and your hat and turn around and pull. Because if you have split shot on the end and your fly breaks, those split shot can come right back at you like a rifle. So turn around and just either pull on the line until it breaks or walk back. So that's what to do if you get your nymphs snagged on the bottom. And when you fish nymphs, you are going to lose them. So get over it. You're gonna lose flies. Take plenty of them along with you, especially if you're fishing in a really snaggy river.